Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, this message, I believe, is a very critical message because of the time we're living in right now. Uh, I believe the closer we get to the rapture of the Church of Jesus Christ, which I believe is coming, and it's coming soon, a lot sooner than people realize, the closer we get to that day, the spiritual warfare is off the charts. I've been experiencing it just over, for a while, but especially over the last month or so. Uh, and I've had to learn, you know, the importance of each and every day making sure I put on the full armor of God because it is a war zone out there right now. Um, guys, you have to remember something. When you're saved, when you become a new creature in Christ, you have a bullseye on your back. You have an, if the enemy can't snatch you from the Father's hand, he's going to do everything he can to destroy you, to shut you up, to make you a hermit, to make you doubt. And he can use those that are closest to you. But make no mistake about it right now. The closer we get to that day, we have an enemy that wants to shut you up. You know, it reminds me of what's recorded in the book of 1 Peter, chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Again, the moment you're saved, when you become a new creature in Christ, you have a bullseye on your back. Satan and his minions do not want you out there witnessing to others. They don't want you out there planting seeds. They want to shut you up. They want to whisper doubts in your ear. To make you want to do nothing. Again, I, I know we're close because, again, there is a raging spiritual war occurring right now. But thank God, in his word, the Holy Bible, he tells us how we can prepare for these attacks, how we can be ready. And it's all about putting on the full armor of God each and every day. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, Paul records in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 10 to 18, on putting on the full armor of God each and every day. And guys, this is very, very important right now. It's critical that we do this. What I like to do is I'm reading through this, as I'm reading through putting on the full armor of God, as I'm praying and reading through it, I like to, to in the spirit, actually put on the armor as I'm reading through it. And I encourage you to do the same because again, there's a war. And I, I can guarantee you, if you could see the spiritual warfare that's occurring right now, if you could see it, it would blow your mind. It's strong right now. And we need to make sure that we have that armor on. Because if we allow a crack in our armor, make no mistake about it, Satan and his minions are going to go through and wreak havoc in your life. Go to the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 18. And again, write this down, print it out if you need to. But we need to make sure we're, we're doing this each and every day. Finally, my brethren, again, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 18. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye, may, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. And again, as I'm reading through this, I like to, in the Spirit, as I'm reading through this each day, actually put it on in the Spirit. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall but ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance 
and supplication for all saints. Folks, this is no joke. This is serious. This is critical. We need to make sure, we're again, we're putting on the full armor of God each and every day. Because, again, it is a war zone out there. Many of you have heard the saying, the Christian life is a battleground. Absolutely. But now more than ever, because Satan and his minions know their time is short. So please, I know many of you like to print out the full armor of God and read through it each day. But I encourage you, as you're reading through, in the Spirit, put on that armor. This is critical, again, that we're doing this each and every day. Because make no mistake about it, you have a bullseye on your back, and the enemy wants to shut you up. But also, we need to make sure we're in the Word, that we're in prayer. Because think about it, when Jesus was being tempted in the wilderness, right, what did Jesus use against the devil? The Word. Again, go read through uh, the temptation in the wilderness. And Jesus just fired the Word of God right back at Satan. When you read the book of James, chapter 4, verse 7 to 8, it records, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your, your hearts, ye double-minded. So draw nigh to God. We need to make sure each and every day you know, that we're in the Word, that we're growing in Him. You know, we need to make sure uh, we're spending time in prayer each day, in fellowship with others. This is crucial to our spiritual walk. Drawing nigh to God. We need to make sure, again, there's no cracks in our armor. If there are things in our lives right now that shouldn't be there that we know about, we need to ask God for his help in removing those things because the enemy will use those things against us. He knows each and every one of our weaknesses. And if we're allowing things in our lives that shouldn't be there right now, then he will come into those areas of our lives and wreak havoc. So we need to draw nigh to God. And he's, uh, draw nigh to God and he will draw, draw nigh to you. You know, again, put on the full armor of God each and every day because it's a war zone, but also make sure we're spending time in his word each and every day, growing in him. Time in prayer and fellowship with others, this is crucial. Uh, anyways, I had to come out here today just, again, to reiterate the importance. Guys, in my walk with the Lord since I've been saved uh, in 2011, the most spiritual warfare I've experienced has just been over the last month or so. Um, and, you know, what I've learned is the importance of putting on the full armor of God. More than ever right now. But also making sure, again, I'm in the Word each and every day. I'm in prayer fellowship with others there's you know we have brothers and sisters in christ we're all one we're a body and we need to encourage one another in these final moments but yes there's a raging spiritual war that's that's here it's been here but i believe more than ever right now because of how short time is jesus is about to rapture his church and in these final moments again you have an enemy that wants to shut you up destroy you bring you down whisper doubts in your ear so that you're not out there witnessing to others you're not planting seeds and we need to make sure, more than ever right now, we're putting on the full armor of God each and every day. Please take this serious. Print out the full armor of God. Put it near you so each and every day you're putting it on. Because make no mistake about it, again, you have a bullseye on your back. And we need to armor up. And like it says in James, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Use the word of God against him. Satan and any other demonic being, you have no authority over me. I'm a child of God. Flee from me. Time is short. Jesus is coming. And more than ever right now, you make a difference, whoever you are watching this right now. But we need to make sure that we're armoring up. Because until that trumpet does sound at the appointed time, make no mistake about it. This raging spiritual war, it's going to get worse. So then we need to make sure we're armoring up. And we're drawing nigh to God each and every day. Again, time in his word, in prayer, and fellowship with others. Take this message serious. Share it with others. Because time is short.
Love you all, and God bless you.